I'm watching the meeting with Matt Gates, uh, Representative Massey, and Marjorie Taylor Greene. The truckers are there, some of them anyway. And the first 10 minutes was puke-worthy. It was like they were trying to do a campaign thing about themselves and not asking the truckers questions, you know, at first, which total bullshit in my opinion. But uh, check out this uh, video of... An old, very passionate trucker, okay? Check this out. RC? You probably don't want to hear from me. I don't mind. Go right ahead. Uh, uh, I drove my first truck in 1971. I purchased my first truck in 1974. Uh, the truckers shut down the entire country for 11 days in 1974. The produce rotted in the fields. Uh, watermelons, tomatoes. Uh, the way we done it, we didn't have social media. Uh, social media is probably one of the most Luciferian uh, gimmicks uh, that has been imposed on the American people uh, of anything that I can think of. In 1974, we had a Less little... of it's imposed on Marjorie now because uh, they yeah, keep kicking her yeah. off. Well, in 1974... They when we shut the, the, the country down, we did it with a word of mouth from one to another, CB radios. Uh, all we did was pulled in, turned our trucks off at the fuel islands, and nobody could get fuel. Right now, most of these guys in here are independents. You're not even looking at all the company drivers that their companies told them, if you go to this convoy thing, Look for another job, you're fired. Tens of thousands of them that wanted to be here are not. Let me, let, let me, from a, from a trucker's, uh, I, one time I had the, uh, the largest truck uh, company in Northwest Florida. And uh, I saw NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement. Man, that was going to be the greatest thing since sliced bread. It broke us. Uh, I went from, at that time in history, I went from five trucks down to one uh, in less than six months. And I had to operate that one myself. Uh, these, uh, I have a question for you and I need an answer. Uh, this magic golden pen that Obama used to sign into uh, to law or a, an executive order, and he passed that golden pen down to Joe Biden, why in the hell can't we take the pen away from him? There was How a, do we do that? There was a guy who held it for a few years in between those two. Yeah. Uh, and and he, he tended to use it a good amount himself. Uh, so, look. But for good. Yes, yes. Well, he used it for good, okay? But he didn't get as much good out of it as the people who have held it for so many years. Uh, we, the American people, how about let us have a voice? This ain't just about the high prices of fuel. This is not about the, uh, 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 the inflation going up. This is about America, uh, these, these buildings, this land around here. Who purchased it? Who paid for it? Who pays to keep the lights on? Uh, we ought to have the opportunity to evict somebody if if they're not treating our property correctly. Uh, this, I, uh, I totally agree with you. How do I'm we, all in. I'm like, how do we take? Can you the go pen? with me to the House floor and talk to Nancy Pelosi today? How do we take it away from them? How do we do that? Look here, Donald Trump was impeached three times. Over two times. Be it not well, the third one. Eh, uh, yeah. You know, but look over stuff that absolutely could not be proven, over, over stuff that absolutely had no uh, bearing on what we, the Amer American people, were doing at the time. Now, how many absolute treasonous acts have Joe Biden done since he's been in office Think about it now. Well, well I introduced four articles of impeachment on Joe Biden, so I'm right there with you. Hey, I think he needs time. thrown out. It's time. Here, here, here we go with another one. 
Okay? Uh, <laughs> I'm full of them, Matt. Uh, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of uh, of uh, of laws that uh, you guys uh, you guys are we gonna we we gonna vote on the omnibus bill, okay? That's to me you're voting on funding the government, right? Correct. We're, we're 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 gonna keep you guys in business for another six months or whatever, okay? Now, why? Do y'all have to stack eight or ten bills in between that ominous bill? Uh, and, and, and you think you're fooling someone. The American people are not that stupid. Well, I'll tell you why they do it. It's because members of Congress don't want to be responsible for individual votes for or against specific provisions. Right. They want to be able to say, oh, well, I had to vote yes because, you know, we also had the mothers and yeah, the apple yeah, pie yeah. in that bill. I so, want to so give you the apple pie by and design. Take, the, take, take the apple away from you. Right, well, there's, there's, a, there's a lot worse than the apple in, in those. But, but that's why I think Thomas's call for reforming the way we even look at these things is an important one. But... To be honest, Republicans and Democrats in the leadership specifically designed this system for this purpose. All and right. it, is, it is principally what we fight against every day. You had a, your hand up earlier. I, I'm a, I'll come back I to you. But I want, I, more I'll leave you. All right, well, 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 we'll get you back. Have you noticed that as everything around you seems to decline, one thing still grows? It is the power of your rulers. None of their plans and directives have solved your problems or made your life better. The only result has been their increased control over you at the cost of your freedom. Do you know why? You gave them the power.